You don't drive a Porsche just to go from point A to point B. It's an experience. Since 1963, the Porsche 911 has been a classic car. Welcome to another edition of Seagal and Cigars. I'm Seagal and hey, where are my cigars? Well, hey, today is how to smoke cigars and drive a car simultaneously. These are all gonna be pre-cut and they're gonna be ready for me as soon as I need them when we go into the car. Uh, it's gonna be very much of a Rocky Patel kind of a day here. Starting off with a Hamlet 25th anniversary. Ready to rock and roll, baby. I've only got two hands, and yet I need to have a hand on the steering wheel, a hand on the stick shift, a hand on the cigar, a hand on my Diet Coke, and a hand on my radio. Count that up. That's five hands. So well, I'll take my ass quickly. Look at that. Just like magic, I made my ass disappear. So as my father taught me, hold the steering wheel with my knee so that I can use my second hand and help pop the soda open. Boom! And now I got my drink, I got my cigar, and we're multitasking. Ah, a Diet Coke and a cigar. Beautiful combo. The way my setup is with my radio, I actually can hold the cigar with my hand and the stick shift and adjust the radio with my one hand. Driving in a convertible in Southern California, it's all about enjoying the beauty. So we're gonna head down and we're gonna drive along the coastline. time to remove the label while I'm driving. Got my knee to drive, take my left hand, and find the, the label, remove the label, and save it. Do not litter. Littering is bad. Alrighty, so we're driving. My cigar is back over. One last puff, and here we go. Boom, throw that puppy out. I have another one, put my lighter. Here we go, ready to go. Smoking a rocket to kill decade right now. A little robusto, waiting to catch the sunset here in La Jolla, California. This is Seagal and Cigars. Signing off.